So today I'm going to be talking about a study which gave certain individuals 600 milligrams of testosterone a week for 10 weeks and I'm going to be talking about their fat-free mass changes, their total testosterone levels and then a couple other things such as their LDL and HDL at the end of the study. So the first bit of data we're looking at here shows the fat-free mass gain for each group they have people who took testosterone and didn't take testosterone. Then they split it further by making groups that either did or didn't exercise. So the group that took testosterone and exercise, they gained about six kilograms of fat-free mass. Now, this is obviously a significant amount. That's around 13 pounds in the US. Obviously, you know, that's not all going to be muscle. Some of that's going to be water weight, but still very impressive amount. And the person who took, or the group that took testosterone and didn't work out, actually gained more fat-free mass than the group that worked out but didn't take testosterone. So it's quite interesting to see those differences there. They've got the tricep size gain and then the quadricep size gain, and then also the bench press strength increase and the squat and strength increase if you want to look into that. So next up is, I'm going to cover just briefly hemoglobin. That obviously went up in the testosterone group. The HDL went down a little bit in the testosterone group, but it went down in the groups that didn't take testosterone either, so I'm not really sure what to make of that. LDL went down in one of the testosterone groups and then it stayed the same in the other so that's good because you want your ldl to go down and then triglycerides actually went down in both the testosterone groups in terms of total testosterone so the group that didn't exercise their baseline was 500 pretty much and then after 10 weeks it went up to 2828 nanograms per deciliter which is just it's just fucking insane. And the people that did exercise and took testosterone, their testosterone levels was 3,244. Now, you know, 500, I guess, is kind of low, maybe average. If you have like a 1,000 um, nanograms per deciliter, I'm pretty sure that's like really good high level of testosterone. So these people are just like crazy. I believe it's like supra physiological. That's what they named the study. Um, anyway, <laughs> the luteinizing hormone, well, obviously their free testosterone was up as well. Luteinizing hormone crashed for the people taking testosterone, and so did their follicle stimulating hormone. Um, their SHBG actually seemed to go down a bit, which is interesting. And then, yeah, I've got the stats here of the body weight and the, the exact amounts of how much everything increased or decreased by. So if you want to pause it and have a look, feel free. I thought it was quite an interesting study. Nice to see some actual science of people, I guess, doing like a cycle, if you want to call it that. But yeah, quite interesting. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.